We are back. Seymour Butts is ready to get some more action on here. We are in Ravenclaw, and this is our dorm. It's very pretty. Nice look, bunk beds. Like, if this is my college dorm, I would love it. Oh, hey. That guy? I mean, whoever is doing the decorum in here, like, top-notch. Pretty flowers, the drapery. My arrows. Uh, weird mirror. Let's go through. Like, why does it sound like this entire castle is moving? So I gotta go upstairs, but I'm gonna ignore that and go downstairs. Can I run? Run, 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 run. Slow down. Can I walk in on other peeps? Maybe? Hata! Rebellion. I have a feeling this is gonna be a game where you can just like explore everything. Um, so I'm gonna try not to get too engulfed in everything. Run, run, run. Trot, trot, trot. That looks different. Oh! <gasps> Yo! <laughs> ah! Ah! Grody. I thought it was nice at first. That's some dirty ass tubs. All rusted out and everything. Look at that sink. Where are the regulations? And I don't want to wash my hands, but I will just see. Okay. Like, this is not healthy. Can I take a poo? Oh, I can't take a poo. Gotta clean that up a little bit. Am I all the same? Can I, uh, separate? Nope, can only flush. Kind of interesting that plumbing. That's a cool roof, though. I gotta hand it to him. The detail they put in this is awesome. Excuse me, why I pee? Remember, if you ever go into a bathroom, do not take the stall next to the person in the next stall. Always give it that one urinal buffer between you and the next person. Only stand next to each other if absolutely necessary. For any female viewers out there, that is uh, man code. Okay. Come at the bottom. Nice. Love chesty chest. <gasps> oh, three on lock. All right, let's go upstairs. My me. I just get dizzy going up these stairs. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Stop. This should be interesting. Why can't I go that way? Why? All right. All right. Brilliant, Army. What are you doing? What are you looking at? I think you could. Ah, that is not how that. 
As we didn't meet our peers. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Oh, why, yes, I would. Can't I'm not going to touch it, though. Much in the day. It's like anything else well, in this school. It's dirty as hell. Sirius Canopus Vega and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. Hmm. Yes. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. Sounds interesting. My schedule. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. Me so excited. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Okay, weirdo. Whoa, you just zoomed out of there. Side. He'll be happy with, but I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. <laughs> I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones. Yeah. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home, and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much oh, sure. power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> nah, you're a weirdo. Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Oh Looks my like gosh! Someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course, I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Uh. Okay. Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Oh, for Shizzle. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps, but it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Huh. Have their own ingredients. For students to grow their own ingredients. Oh yes. yeah. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they're selling some of those plants too. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you, and good luck to you too on your first day. Oh, thank you. Apple. Ah, delicious. Alright, alright. Huh, ladies? What's up, ladies? What up, girls? That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What reaction what did, did you, you hope? Want? Yeah, exactly. I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. 
And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I can't get over my hair. Look how beautiful it is. Back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting. Who is talking to me? Revelio. Who is that? Huh? Lumos. Starting new school this late. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Revelio. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio.
Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. I used to write my parents every day. Oh, how fun of a slide! You must try it. Slow coach! Slow coach! Oh. Rebellion. Fear not, my young comrades in arms. I am of stout heart and will not perish easily. Revelio. <laughs> Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the last. Here. Behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Damn. So friendly. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor me Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. Mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your one holidays colors, practicing one grows, obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. <clears throat> Just like well, my real school. It seems that we are in no dire shit. need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. This is a cool classroom. Akio. Akio. Get over here. That is not bad. 
You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. True. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics we'll down, and yeah. it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! He's very well color-coordinated in his clothing. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, now uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. All right. Do a little Accio. Little, little forward. Accio. Splendid! No! Oh. Excellent control there. Happens in the Son of a bitch. I suck at this. Very good. Easy. Easy. That's what I meant to do. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. Let's just forget well, about those first certainly two, okay? no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Mm -hmm. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you Onai. are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let's see what you got. Let us see this. Uh, how did she stab it like that? Here. I can do that too. Stay. Stop. Splendid. Here we go. Here we go. Phew. Stop. Stay focused. Oh, I'm gonna lose. That is how it's done. Wow. Akio. Keep trying. <laughs> that sucked. Uh, I demand a rematch. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay, rematch. With some sliding bars now? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. 
This round settles it all. Let us see this. Come on, Seymour. Come on, Seymour. There we go. So, but wait for them to slide by. Akio. Oh my God, dude! I fucking Don't suck watch. at this game. Fucks up, I'm not like winning though. Yes! Akio! Uh, I just How knocked her into more points. God dang it. Yeah. Apparently, I have to work Very on my Akio. Very good, both of you. Well done. late. That's what I blame it on. There's something in my eye. It's windy. You know, bug flu. I can see right. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Oh, Didn't shush. want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier. I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Uh... Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Professor is creepily watching this from behind. Whatever, I can talk to you It's later. nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Accio on humans. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. I love how detailed, like, every room in here is. I definitely put the time in. It's pretty cool. Revelio. First, anything in here that I can steal? A word to give you a word? No, sir, not yet. Let's <laughs> ting in. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Is that the of death course, chamber Professor. in the background It was a there? challenging match. Miss um, Onai is always a fierce competitor. From Though minions, I sense from Gru, that she is a bit distracted chamber. of late. <clears throat> now, 
Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hmm. Here. What's this? What's that? Quest. Oh, I get stuff. Gloves. Legendary cape. What's next? Spectacles. Okay. Wait, what is it? It's on me. Oh, you just roll over him? Get rid of him? Okay. Let's get Dark Arts class. Here. I collect. Can I just collect something? Classes. Magical properties? <laughs> no. I'm not going to wear a hat to hide my suave hair out the back. Sir? Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Okay. Thanks for that piece of information. Hello. How was your first day coming along? Yo, uh, what up, girl? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. No, I sucked. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Tick on fire. <laughs> Lumos. Oh, that's. So I can't move these around. Okay. 
Can I get rid of you? Oh, whatever. Oh! What's up? Check that out. That's how you get the pages. Off on another adventure, are we? Yes, how do I? The Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. Dude, how do I? Lumos. Akio. It was Albert Boot. How do I unlock you? The bold attack was the Minister of Boot. Oh, it's already green, so I already have it. Okay. Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, <laughs> enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh. And you're both wrong anyway. Oh. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> that dude seems annoying as hell. Cat. So cool. More cats. Must resist. Resist petting the cats. I think I'll go for a quick sprint on my broom. Quick sprint on your broom. Corn plus four. So if I go by the same logic as last time, so I got to do two one more. This would be what one two. Is that six? So I need a six two. So one two three four five six. Crab looking thing? Cat butt. Crab looking thing over here? Right? Yes. And then. Uh. Oh, is. Zero? So that's three, so there's two, one, two, unicorn? There's no unicorn. Is it actually zero? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So zero, one, two would be that goat thing. That thing. Right? So that means this is wrong. So zero one, that'd be five. So we need seven. Zero one two three four five six seven. What the fuck that is? Squid or something? That thing. Is that it? Hey! Look at me in my bed itself. That's why I'm a Ravenclaw. Revelio. Just a mysterious room. Then chesty chest. Yeah. Different robe. Offense. And you can upgrade. Oh, it's got some stripes on it. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Wait a minute. Hood on? What? Oh, yeah. I'm a Jedi now. Change parents. So I can make it look like something completely different? Or not at all? Okay. We'll go with that though. <laughs> and for now I'm gonna be Jedi'd out. I'm gonna roll as a Jedi. So then, does that mean I can change all these? I can. Pants. Right? Oh no, they're still knickers. They're just darker. Uh, not digging the tie though. Let's go that. Can I get some gloves? Oh, I'm going Sith Lord on this. Okay. Kind of cool, I guess. Nah. Nah, we'll just stay with that. Okay, let's get out of here. They called me Seymour Butts. Lord Butts. I'm a Sith Lord. Revelio. Where am I going? My next class? That's where I'm going? That way? chest. This one is just as dirty as the other one. It's actually better than the other one. And the... What? That's disgusting. Who's fucking doing like potions and shit in here? What, what is this? That's grody. Somebody else doing some weird shit up in here? No? Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Where am I going? That way? Okay. Things are 
singing. Oh, I saw a page. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Those are playing by themselves, that's cool. Uh, where am I going? Downstairs? Revelio. Where is that team coming from? Sounds like there's something right next to me, like... Oh. This chest? Hello. Revelio. Oh, does he have his eye on me? Oh, he is looking at me. Okay. You put an eye out. Double you've got. Nebioso! Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. 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 A charm. Levioso. A surprised <laughs> opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levio, it's Levioso. Levioso. I'm a champion. Damn champion. Now, let's try something a little larger. That's one way to move. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Okay. Remember, a surprise done. Straight, bitch. Levioso. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair Shut duel your hair up. using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. You've never faced a Sith Lord. Easy. Levioso. <laughs> Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. This can't be your first duel. Oh, let's just cool say down. I'm a quick learner. 
Ouch, <laughs> son of a bitch. What are you doing up there? W. Fuck me. Let me good. How perceptive. Thank you. That's right, Sebastian. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> okay. Feeling quite proud of myself. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach Thank out you. soon with additional assignments. Sounds good. Oh, oh right. I saw a page of Revelling enough spectacle for one day. Yeah. Class is dismissed. Give me that. Up, dude? If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Word. What up, girl? You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Are you talking to me or are you talking to him? Huh. Yo. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Um, it usually is. It's just, you know, I'm a fifth year, and for the sake of this video game, they they wanted to you oh, know, teach it to me. I'm because... not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Okay. Anyways, like I was saying, um, I'm a fifth year, and and the ah, there you are, producers. What are you doing with your hands? The the producers of this game would not hear the end of it if we did. We went and came to school and we weren't taught levio soul because everybody wants to say that levio soul. So that's why. But technically speaking, I am a first year, first year here but as a fifth year. Technicality, so therefore I have to learn. So, yeah. Good talk. Revelio. Oh, here's another torture Last chamber. Word. Yeah, see, look, it's a torture chamber. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Oh, thank you. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Hmm. Uh, it was. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Tell me more. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. I agree. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, Ooh. you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. That's the Thank red you, section. Sebastian. You can't go I'll in keep there. that in mind. Only. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Revelio. Mm, okay. Oh, hey. Just light up for me. What are you up to now? 
Why does it not show like a green flame? I mean, the icon's green, but it's not like, isn't it supposed to be burning in there or something? It's on my map. Is this a chest in here? Where's that? It's like right on top of it. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. I don't like seeing these notifications. in. Revelio. Forty-two staircases, and this is where they put me. Was it the statue? Are you talking? I go crazy with all Rebellion. the teaming around. that door open up. Oh, yep, there you go. You yeah, see? imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Does it only burn for a short period of time or something? Cat. What about the room? Professor. I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Deke. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Dude, it's been one day. Quit, quit praying. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Yeah, Regardless, nosy. It's been you one must day. continue to build upon what you. you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Uh, 
I'm ready. I'm go. eager to get okay. to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm. Whooped his ass, right? Onai whipped my ass with the balls. Uh, let's go with Onai. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Okay then. Or to Professor, Professor Ronin. Revelio. Anything in here next to? It's a lock. Chest back there somewhere. Yes. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Oh yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Cat. Oh, sure, ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Ah, hmm. but can it fix it a broken that heart? Can, More frequently no, than so. one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Okay. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Oh. Uh, Revelio. Give me that. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Oh. Accio. Got it. Flying page. Oh, shit. Pay attention. What is that? Revelio. What's this? Lumos. There's dark magic there. Akio. Huh? Let me Oh. There we go. Nice. Page must be around here somewhere. There it is. Akio! Shit. Get over here. Brilliant. Thank you. Dude is all over the place. The preliminary tasks weren't too much. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Yes. Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, 
Wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Go, baby, go. Reparo. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. You the one I saw that was over here. thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repairo. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Word. Revelio. Okay, is that it? Anything else? Scarf. Oh. Quest. Let's go to Hogsby. Question mark, we got uh, this dude plus 11, so that's zero, one, two. It's 13, right? Yeah, wait, zero, one, two, 13. Uh, so what, seven, eight, which is the spider? I agree. I agree. Where's where's the other one? Oh, it's up there. There. Oh. Akio, get over here. Oh shoot. Uh, what am I doing? So I got the spider. Uh, Seventeen. So we got. Whatever that is, technical thing, nine, eight, seven, six, five, right? Uh, nine and five, that's 14, so I need three, zero, one, two, three, so uh, three-headed dragon. I've been sending out my mother bleeding. Yeah. And jump. Oh. Oh. Like. Yeah, boy. Oh, just right through the door. Nice. Actually, you know what? What, what did I get? Up. 
creepy at all. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm I potty. Believe it. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Hmm. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Hmm. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Hmm. Do come and find me if Why you do stumble the side quest? Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Fatty statue. Downstairs from Epping? Right? Is it down here? There it this is. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Oh, this? Lumos. Yeah, boy. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Tracking this thing now. Oh, oh, here she is. Okay. Yeah, did you see me? I did it. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! Mm -hmm. I should have seen that! Mm-hmm. Yep, sorry. Rebellion! Okay, now where am I going? If I do a side quest, it kicks me off my other thing. Okay. Oh. Something down here. 
here, right? Is it? Chest. Revelio. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh! Hey, what's up? Stealing gloves. Nice. Did you just hit him? Okay. Revelio. Now. And a chest. Revelio. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, wiggle, wiggle well, wig, wigging well. Another one? Yeah, get over here. Said she carved her initial. I think she made it up. Someone was sat by the fire in our common room the other day with steam coming out of their ears. Uh, those hats. Uh, un momento. I will. All right. Pretty cool. And actually, I think before I go to. Oh, was that a different style of love that I just got? Somehow I have a feeling that if I go to Hogsmeade, I'm gonna like spend all day there, and this has already been a pretty long video, so I think we might call it good here. Sorry, One, you're gonna have to sit around and wait for me. What was that? Revelio. Yeah. Okay, anyway, you are super relaxed over here. Don't you have a class or something? Hey. Don't you have class? I'm sitting around like that. Anyways, what was, what was I saying? I was saying Accio, that's what I was saying. Yeah, <laughs> get over here, bitch. Um. Hmm. Um. Anyways, yes, this has been a long video as it is. I am completely enjoying playing this, guys, but I think this is where we're going to cut it. We'll start the next video going off to Hogsmeade. So for now, I'm sorry. Uh, Natty, you're just going to have to wait. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, but uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. We'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.